All right, so we're gonna start tearing into this car. I uh, really first things first, I gotta get that block and that transmission out, and we're gonna get just straight to scrap with it just to get out of my way. Get the old jalopies moved. Probably just push it back outside and let's yank a motor. Well, half a motor. Eh, whatever. You know, it's always good to get in this car, even though it is a pain sometimes. My old reliable here. She's actually been driving her fancy car, I guess you call it, for probably a good week and a half, maybe more. Would you look at that? All right, boys and girls, it is that time. Get this uh, busted old block out of here. Just doing the block for now. I'll come back for the trans. Since uh, pretty much already was removed. So, outside of a couple wiring things on the back. So let's check out the carnage, which is actually quite amazing. So there's what's left of rod, that'd be, it'd be rod five. Yeah, you see it's upside down. And there's the rest of it. And you know, it kind of sent it out the front end too, so. Let me say uh, minor details, we'll go ahead and get that fixed up and thrown back in. There's the motor. Next is the uh, trans. All right, so day two working on this thing and the transmission is out. So good to go there. Got the front wheel and strut out. So we got some stock stuff laying around we're gonna throw in for now. Then we gotta start figuring out how to remove our body kit. All right, so this buys a hot and muggy this. We can get work done. So day three is the body kit. Uh, two wheels so far, working on the other two wheels. We'll do some stock stuff up front to get it back on the ground. Get these swapped out. Also, as you can see how clean this car is. And then uh, this exhaust is actually going on Tanner's car, so we're gonna get it off this car and figure out where to cut it to make a cat bag for now since we're not doing the turbo stuff. And then when we get a day, we're gonna lift up his and swap the exhaust. A little bit each day goes a long way. Apparently. Pretty much everything out of the engine bay and inside that we're keeping. So nice vacuum manifold with the essentially goes with the boost controller or the uh, boost gauge, and then this controller for me. Let's keep at it.
exhaust is off. We're fighting with it. Stock suspension back in. Still gotta swap the sway bars, which I have loose. Ready to go. Stock one of those back on, so I'm gonna the front one back up here. But not a bad third day. So we got it quite a bit done. Uh, now we're kind of stuck because of the rain. So there it sits. It's pretty much ready to go for all the new stuff. So all we got left, really, uh, I got to swap out the front sway bar. It's got steel braided brake lines on it right now. Uh, this driver for one actually blew. So I think I found replacement fronts. So the rest are actually gonna come off and go to Tanner's car, but I'm gonna do that later uh, when I have the replacements. Once that's done, push it back in here and wait for the arrival of the other car. Pull stuff off that car and make one good car. So you see it's uh, pretty full in here now. Here's the rear sway bar. Week and a half till some of the stuff gets picked up. So as you guys knew, we had put brand new h &R springs and KYB struts, along with all the hardware, on Tanner's car. Well, after like a month, we had lifted it up to check something else and heard a rattle. Well, turns out this spring actually just snapped. A nice uh, stress fracture there. So we had to take them back off. Luckily, we had spares and uh, we're getting the eye box set up on there eventually. But uh, yeah, I figured I'd share that with you guys. Currently discussing with the company. I have contacted them. They're aware of it. And currently going back and forth on how to go about this. These springs had, like I guess a month, month and a half, they were on the car, and he didn't even hit a thousand miles with these. So, he drives the same route to and from work every, not every day, not even every day, like a couple days a week. We drove it, we took it up to Toledo to look at this car, and then he drove it out to Carlisle. That was it. That car's had the same suspension on it for almost, well, it's from other Grand Ams, but that suspension has been around for almost 10 years now with a lot more miles. So we'll see what happens there. Um, keeping the pages updated as we go, simply because, you know, that's definitely some kind of manufacturing thing. So hopefully back their product like I've had with other products you guys have seen, you've had some failures and other companies back their stuff just fine, so that's where we're gonna end this one. Uh, it won't be for a while until we hit that one, so I got some other videos coming at you guys. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.